Keeping these doors open comes with risks. Kitty Vincent will be the first to tell you. That's right, I can't work remote. I touch people for a living. Since reopening in May, the owner of Revolver Salon in Denver goes to work knowing there's a chance employees may get COVID-19. I, you know, I take people's temperatures. I ask if they have symptoms. But we know how many people can be infectious and not know it. She and the rest of the team carry that anxiety every day, even with all of the safety measures in place. We've worked extremely hard, and now that we're requesting vaccinations, we feel the state has in some ways abandoned us. As it stands, hairstylists are on track to get vaccinated along with the general public. That um, could take months. It just doesn't make any sense that we're in the same category as people you know, working from home. Kitty has been trying to change that, but reaching someone with the state health department or even the governor's office has been a challenge in itself. We write them letters, we call them, we tweet at them. They will not respond to us. We in a letter to Governor Polis, she asked that stylists and other beauty professionals be moved to 1B3 or even phase two. We're busy, we are working. I think that makes us essential. The masks and other precautions are here to stay, but so is their uncertainty. And I have done absolutely everything in my power to keep my salon and my, my staff and my guests safe and getting us vaccinated is part of that. Victoria De Leon, Nine News. In a statement to Nine News, CDPHE says, quote, we understand many individuals and families have unique circumstances. Unfortunately, we are limited by federal supply. We did not receive an answer stating whether or not they plan to move hairstylists up on the vaccine distribution list.